Hey everybody, welcome back for another Game Break. Today I'm talking about Mega Man 11. And holy hell, I did not expect to enjoy this game that much. And as soon as you get past, you know, the opening story moments, it gives you a hell of an introduction with the, of all things, the stage select theme. Oh yeah, Mega Man time. Mega Man time. All right, let's do this. Holy shit. After I was able to actually collect myself and calm down after listening to the stage select theme, I was able to appreciate the game's art style. It has that beautiful 2.5D art style. It very much still encapsulates the classic Mega Man look and it was exactly the type of graphical transition I wanted for the 11th installment of Mega Man. Mega Man still looks great in his blue bomber outfit and in addition to him we have eight new robot masters who in my opinion all look pretty darn good. Uh, they still very much fit the elemental framework of a lot of Mega Man games and you have a fire guy and an ice guy and a lightning guy an explosion guy and all that but they I think they all look really cool blast man being a particular favorite of mine personally and even though we have new robot masters this time around we still very much get to listen to that classic robot master introduction theme from Mega Man's past <laughs> One thing from Mega Man's past that has been improved in this game is the fact that Mega Man finally changes his appearance when he gains a Robot Master's ability instead of just having a simple color palette swap like all the other games. It's a long overdue addition and all of his new outfits all look really good and none of them look ridiculous to me. All the stages for the Robot Masters also look great they all have that 2.5D style with some of them having really good looking backgrounds, especially the introductory part of Blockman stage. I just thought they did a great job with this art style. In the trailers leading up to this game's release, there is one thing that a lot of eagle-eyed fans noticed, and I did too, is they took out the door transition when you're heading into a final boss where Mega Man, you can kind of jump up with him and he'll transition to the next part of the hallway like slow motion and then drop down. Now he just kind of like you jump up, you hit it and you fall down and you run through. It's just one of those little things that they should have kept because it was in all the other Mega Man games. But, you know, I, I, I'm being nitpicky. The big new gameplay mechanic introduced for Mega Man 11 is undoubtedly the double gear system. Now this system works for a limited amount of time and it works in two very specific ways. One, you have the power gear which overpowers all of your abilities making them incredibly strong and therefore incredibly useful. And two, you have the speed gear which slows down both Mega Man and all the enemies on screen allowing you to dodge incoming enemy fire much more easily and it also allows you to platform much more easily as well. I personally really liked the addition of the double gear system into this game. The reason for that is because the double gear system made the gameplay a little bit more strategic in nature. Since the double gear system works on a cooldown and it only works for a limited amount of time, you had to be very strategic for when you decided to use it. The double gear system was very balanced in my opinion for most of the game. It only becomes unbalanced when you essentially buy cheat items in order to make it so that the double gear system has no cooldown anymore and you can just use overpowered abilities and slow time whenever you want all the time and then that makes the game incredibly easy. When the power gear overpowers your abilities, it changes what that ability looks like when you activate it and they're all over the top and really cool to look at. 
But even though the power gear does look cool and have some cool abilities, it's the speed gear that I think is the hero of this game because the ability to slow down enemies and to slow down myself while I'm trying to platform over pits or around spikes really saved my bacon a lot of times. And there are several different difficulty options for Mega Man 11. I played on normal difficulty and that was more than enough for me on my first playthrough through. I haven't done a nightmare run yet. I'm almost scared to because holy cow, normal mode definitely, definitely did the job. And it makes me wonder if games nowadays are too easy. They probably are because this game definitely had uh, some challenging moments for me. You can also buy items in this game, such as health tanks or weapon tanks, etc, etc. But I felt bad doing that because it almost felt like cheating because buying items was so useful and it got me out of so many tough spots. For example, having a health tank if I have low health and no lives left right before a boss, or if I have a weapon tank and I have the boss's elemental weakness, but I use it all during the stage, but a weapon tank will refill it up and just make the fight so much easier. The first stage of Mega Man 11 was definitely the hardest for me. I picked Block Man, and not only did he kick my ass on a regular basis, his stage also kicked my ass on a regular basis. But with Mega Man finally beating a Robot Master that has been giving you nothing but a hard time, there's, there's no feeling like it, and it's fantastic. And when you finally beat a Robot Master, you obviously gain their sweet-ass ability, and you get this cool little theme to go with it. A great thing about Mega Man 11 is all the powers you receive from defeating the Robot Masters are great. None of them are useless, they all have great utility, some are obviously better than others, but there's no throwaway ability in this game. They're all useful and they're all great to watch and it just makes the gameplay that much more fun that you can use any of them. With this being a mainline Mega Man game, Dr. Wily is once again the final boss and the big villain. But the boss that gave me the hardest time and was by far the most annoying, to the point where it almost wasn't even fun, was the Yellow Devil. Speed Gear was immensely helpful in finally beating the Yellow Devil. I'm sure I would have gotten it eventually by finally learning the patterns of how his blocks move back and forth and such, but it was nice that I didn't have to die quite so many times to him in order to figure it out. One thing I really did like about Mega Man 11 was going through all the Robot Master stages again and fighting them all ridiculously overpowered. You can get some crazy strong items by the end of the game that make sure your weapon gauge never depletes, your double gear system never has to cool down, and it was just nice to be able to go through these really hard levels with all of the Robot Master's weaknesses and knowing them right out of the gate and just clobbering them all oh, was just so damn satisfying and I, I enjoyed that almost as much as going through the game normally the first time around. Straight up, the developers at Capcom were firing on all cylinders for this game, guys. They really were. The level design's good, the difficulty's balanced, the game sounds great, it looks great, it's really fun to play. It's honestly all I wanted in a Mega Man game, and as I said at the beginning of this review, I enjoyed this game way more than I thought I would. And it just makes me very hopeful for the next Mega Man game they pick to develop. Fingers crossed though, it's a Mega Man X game. Is it a game that's worthy of Mega Man's, you know, storied legacy? And also, is it a game worthy of being in your collection? Is it a game you might, you know, play in a few years' time? You know, is it one you might look on fondly? For me, personally, it's double worthy on both counts. It's both worthy of Mega Man's legacy and it's a great install to the franchise. And on the other count, it's absolutely staying in my collection because it's a game I'll play again. And even if I didn't play it again, it's one I'll always remember fondly. That's it for this game break, everybody. I really enjoyed talking about Mega Man 11 today. Uh, let me know what you thought of the game as well, and I'll see you later, gamers.